okay, given these sets here, we have the inverse, we have set A, B, and C. According to this question, we're taught to find a complement union, C complement. If that is the case, we do this. This is the same as you should remember that when you have the De Morgan's law, you say that if we have A intersection B, the complement, this is the same as distributing the complement inside A complement, you change the sign there to be the complement. This is what we call the De Morgan's law. This is the De Morgan's law. So by using the De Morgan's law, this here is the same as A intersection C, then you pull this outside the brackets. This is the meaning. A complement union C complement is the same as A intersection C complement. When you have complements there, once to put the brackets, you remove this complement outside. The moment you remove this complement, this complement outside, you're supposed to change the sign here. Same applies to this one here. If we're going to dispute this complement inside, we're changing the sign here. So this is going to be A complement, then this sign changes to union, and this is going to be B complement. That is the De Morgan's law. That's the way we're supposed to do it. Now, since we know that this is the De Morgan's law, and we want to find this one here, or want to, to show this information on the number line, remember that every time we're trying to show this information on the number line, we're supposed to start with the universal sets. And the universal set in this case is, of course, from um, negative, negative 10, which is part of the set. That's what we're showing, we are shading, and to, of course, a positive 10. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now, from here, we want to show A intersection B complement. So we have A and C. We are going to show set A and C. First one is set A. Set A is starting from a negative 2, a negative 2, 2, two, two. And in this case, negative 2 is part of the set, so you shade it. And according to the bracket here, this 2 is not part of the set, so you open it. This bracket shows that this is closed and this one is open. This is what we're showing here. You close it by shading it, and that one is open. This is set, set A. Then we go to set B. Set B is, sorry, set C. We're having A and C. Set C is 0 from 0, from 0 to 5. So we have 5 somewhere there, from 0 to 5. Whereas this 0 is not part of the set, and but uh, 5 is part of the set. So we connect these two. This is set, set C. After showing these two sets on the number line, we can find now A intersection C complement. Now, before we find the complement, we're supposed to know A intersection C. A intersection C, this is A, this is C. The intersection is here. This is the intersection, A intersection C. Now, complement outside this one here. So, all the elements outside are 0 to 2. So, we are talking about these from this point here to this side and from this point here to, to the other side. Now, when you look at the type of shading that we're having here, the brackets that we're supposed to have, looking at this one, uh, this two is not in set, set A, but it is in set, in set C, which means that it is not in the intersection. If it is not in the intersection, which means that it is in the complement, it's outside. That's why we're going to shade this one here. Of course, negative, negative 10 is not in the intersection. You shade to show that now it is outside. So this is A intersection C complement. Then the other one is this side here where we have a zero. Zero is in set A, but it is not in C, which means that it is not in the intersection. If it is not in the intersection, which means that it is outside the intersection, which is, of course, A intersection C complement. Now, this negative 10, of course, it is not in the intersection. That's why we're shading to show that also this one is outside the intersection of A and, and C. So this is A intersection C complement. So you have shown this one on, on, the, number, on the number. And this is A intersection C complement. Now, I can, I can write it this side. This is equal to. So this is from negative 10 to 0, where both numbers are part of the set union from of course 2 to to 10 
where block numbers are part of the set. That's why we're using the closed brackets. That's the way you're supposed to do this question.